I see you. Don't you think I didn't see you there? Mm, let's see if I can go up and over. Nope. Shh. Oh, look at that last guy, and I did it. Nice. Is this the observatory? All this. Look at that. Hey, you guys coming? Knocked out everybody. So how are you going to open this? Jesus, that's a long time. Jesus, Roberts, have you gone mad? Quite the contrary, Edward. These wags would have gone mad at seeing what lies beyond this gate. But you, I suspect you're made of sterner stuff. Now, pick up that chest and carry it hither. Okay. I counted you shooting four times and only three people heal. Maybe I'm counting wrong. Why are you not carrying the chest? Not quite as I remember, but it has been over eighty millennia. Ah, rot! That's impossible. Step as if on thin ice, Captain. Oh, thank you. You at least said Captain. I am quite taken by this new vocation of mine, and it may amuse you to know that I have authored my own articles of conduct. Creed of your own, eh? To keep the peace, yes. I forbid all gambling upon the deck, for instance, for it leads to more conflict than camaraderie. Desertion during battle is forbidden. Eh. And I require that all men keep their pieces and cutlasses clean and fit for service at all times. That's not Sensible. too bad. And punishable by death if disobeyed. Eh. Look at this place. Beautiful, isn't it? He's not a bad captain. Like something out of a fairy tale. One of them old poems. There were many stories about this place once. Tales that turned into rumors and again into legend. The inevitable process of facts becoming fictions before fading away entirely. Okay, we're almost here because I'm sick of carrying your box. Uh, hello? More blood vials. Yes, these cubes contain the blood of an old and ancient people. A wonderful race in their time. The more you talk, man, the less I understand. I don't expect you to. Only remember this. The blood in those files is not worth a single real to anyone anymore. It really? may be again one day, but not in this evening. Here we are. Place Oh yes, sir. Oh by the way, thank you for calling me Captain. Captain Edward. What's that noise? Usually when it's shaking it's not a good oh, thing. A security measure. Just a moment. Didn't you mention that earlier? So you almost got us killed because you can't remember that. Space. Little detail. Capable of seeing great distances. Why is it a crystal skull? Or just a skull in general? This is bloody witchcraft. No, this is Mr. Jack Rackham. Somewhere in the world at this moment. NASA. Well, this is happening right now. We're seeing through his eyes. Hi. I don't know, Jim. I haven't the faintest idea how to pilot a ship. That ain't work a woman does. Tosh. I've seen a score of ladies who can reef a sail and spin a capstan. And would you teach me to fight? With a cock glass like? And maybe handle a pistol? All that and more. 
But you have to want it and work for it. There's no stumbling into true success. Oi! Dad! That's my lass you're making love to. You lay off or I'll catch ya. Up your ass, Rackham. Lad's the last thing you should be calling me. Oh! Oh! Oh, is that right, is it? Lad? Oh no. A curious bunch. Let's try another. Governor Woods Rogers. You have a bold idea, but I must think it carefully through. A simple pledge of loyalty is all you need suggest to the House of Commons. An oath, a gesture, and a simple ceremonial drum of blood taken from the finger. That's all. The ministers may give me trouble, but it should be easy enough to convince the House of Lords. They do adore an excess of mm. pomp and circumstance. Exactly. Tell them it's a show of fealty to the king against those revolting Jacobites. Yes, indeed. Oh, these Templars. The crucial detail is the blood. You must get a sample from each man. We want to be ready when we find the observatory. Agreed. A precious tool, you see. Sorcery, that's what it is. Not so! Every mechanism that gives this device its light is a true and physical thing. Ancient, yes, but nothing supernatural or strange. We'll be masters of the ocean with that. Oh, such ambition. There is nothing in my code about loyalty, boy. You played your role, but our partnership is done. You're a dead man, Roberts. You're killing a lot of people. Okay, up. Yep, go up. I'm still alive. Well, that's not good. And now, where do I go? Where do I go? Oh, up there, okay. Did I start over here? Yep. Up here, and it, yep. Seems simple enough. Um, well, it was like R trigger and A, right? Yep. Then jump over this way, and yep. And then jump here, and it should be out of here. Should be out of here. Wait, there's a secret way in there the whole time? Hmm. There's not really any point in getting a sage then if you know that secret way. Hey, that's my crew. Okay, those are all enemies, I guess. I can't do anything. Robots! 
Hey guys. Oh, your jackdaws flown, Edward. Eh? That's the beauty of a democracy. The many outvote the one. Oh, you could sail with me, but with a temper as hot as yours, I fear you'd burn us all to cinders. Luckily, I know the king's bounty on your head is a large one, and I intend to collect. Have you, uh, have you ever seen the inside of a Jamaican prison, boy? Have you? Oh, you're so dead. He is dead. Okay. Why am I locked up here? So you drugged me and then put me down here. <laughs> so, they tossed you in the bunker. Nice. Those Templars upstairs aren't taking any chances. Nope. I think we need to erase all the dirt they might have on you. Hmm. You hear that? <laughs> I think I just gave you level 3 security clearance. Now, head to the security room. And use the cameras to watch the door to the server farm. Unfortunately, Melanie's in there now. So when I escort her out, that... All right, listen, I'm entering the server room now. When you see us leave, get in there. What, Joe? Oh, not this again. Okay, I did by accident again. There's no need for you to be down here by yourself, Miss LeMay. My team will handle the investigation. But you need an extra set of eyes on this thing, John. We don't even know when the hackers broke in. It could take weeks to go through this data. One, at most. Still too long. I can't keep my team locked up for a week. Legally, you can. It's what they signed up for. Even if they didn't read their contracts. Yes, of course. I just hate the idea. So what's the next step? My team is processing the data now. We'll start sifting through it tonight. Scouts on her. Coffee's on me, okay? Okay. Guess it's time to move. I want to get back to the being pirate. Okay. This is a big room for no reason. Here we are. Beautiful. I'll update your communicator one more time. A little program I cooked up just for this purpose. There we go. I think that worked. Try it out. Oh man.
that must be very easy, or I'm just stumbling my way by accident through those sort of problems. Okay, game of fog. Ah. Come on. Mm. Ah. Okay, that's a checkpoint ish. Oh. Come on. There you go. Oh, I was there. So close. So close. Okay. Well, this is going to take me a little bit. There you go. Didn't, too, didn't take me too long. Yeah, okay. pushed all doubt aside. We bless poor Desmond, who gave his life so that you, the children of our labors, would live on to fulfill your purpose and ours, in mine. But now is not the time. My strength is not sufficient to inhabit an organic vessel. There's more work to do, more samples to acquire, more artifacts to find before my will can obtain. What's happening? Tell me! Make me whole again, my children, my instruments. Bring me forth to fulfill your purpose. Tell me! Hey, shush. No, no, no! Something's wrong! God damn it! Because I'm um, the main character, I got plot armor. That's pretty much the reason. Plot armor can go a long way. You will see in the shortly. My plot armor is one of the strongest. Back to being a pirate now. The charges, sir, I'll hear them again. My lord, His Majesty's court contends that the defendants, Mary Reed and Anne Bonney, did piratically, feloniously, and in an hostile manner attack, engage, and take seven certain fishing boats. Really? This court contends that the defendants lurked upon the high seas and did set upon, shoot at, and take to certain merchant sloops 
thus putting the captains and their crews in corporeal fear of their lives. Edward James Kenway, born of motley parentage in Swansea, to an English father and Welsh mother, married at 18 to Miss Caroline Scott, now estranged. She's a beautiful woman, I am told, but not at all well these days. If you touch her, you bastards, I'll... Quite a surprise finding you here rotting in a Jamaican prison. We heard rumors that you had taken up with the pirate Roberts. If you know the observatory's location, tell us now, and you'll be out of here in a flash. Rogers can hold these British hounds at bay for a time, but this will be your fate if you fail to cooperate. You, Mary Reed and Anne Bonny, are to go from hence to the place from whence you came, and from thence to the place of execution, where you shall be severally hanged by the neck, till you are severally dead, dead, dead! Oh, Ross! May God in his infinite mercy be merciful to each of your souls! Was pregnant! Yeah. Do you all hear that? What the devil did she say? They plead their bellies, my lord. You can't hang a woman quick with child, can ye? Quiet! Quiet! If what you claim is true, then your executions will be stayed. But only until your terms are up. Then I'll be up the duck the next time you come knocking. Remove them! <laughs> <laughs> It's Walpole, ain't it? Walpole? Where'd you get that? Well, that's the rumor going round. As dirty and daft a pirate as ever sailed these West Indies. Well, whatever his name, gotta make sure he suffers without dying. Orders from the governor. And back to the prisons at sundown. Okay. And massage his feet if he's aching, shall I? Oi! You stop that! You gonna make me? Hey! Quiet, you! Yes, yeah, so all look at me. Oi! Quiet, you! Yes, yeah, look at me. Oh, you could sneak up on him. Oh, thanks. Can you get me down? Good morning, Captain Kenway. I have a gift for you. Do not mistake my purpose here. I have come for Anne and Mary, and you owe me nothing for this. Ah. But if you would lend me your aid, I can promise you safe passage from this place. I'll need weapons. You are comfortable with this, I am told. We must hurry. Can I get a sword? I guess not. This is an old fence to Zoya 2. What was that? Oh, hang on. And sabotage for your alarm bells. There's a lot of guards here. Like, I mean a lot of guards. I guess I followed this guy. Mm. 
Come here, where do you think you're going? Jesus, he's just jumping everywhere. Sabotage this real quick and just leave. You go down and then I whistle again. Come on, up you go. Up. A little bit of better feel the land. To what I'm up against. Okay, there's a alarm bell right beneath me. Oi, that guy up top is annoying me. Give me some ammo. How many guys are there? Jeez, there's a lot of guards here. I love how I'm sabotaging these bells without any, um, what's it called? Sword. Like, I have no sword, but somehow I'm still sabotaging this. Look at that visible sword. T Come on. 